So. Okay, it's three o'clock. <laughs> and um, we need to call the meeting to order. One of you will temporarily be the chairperson of this committee to call the meeting to order and to instruct us all uh, to do the Pledge of Allegiance and instruct the clerk to do a roll call. Um, so I'm gonna select one of you at random to do that. How about you, Ms. Carstairs? <laughs> Why don't you call the meeting to order? I call the meeting to order. I call the meeting to order. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. have the clerk call the roll. Please have the clerk call the roll. Skylar Carstairs, answer by saying present or here. Here. Taylor Eason. Here. Anthony Scaramuzzi. Present. Eddie Simchak. Here. Katie Toperzer. Here. And Marley Hook and Ryan Rafels are not present at the moment. Thank you. Okay, you have a quorum. So now you're at item number four on the agenda. Why don't you see if there are any agenda modifications among your membership? You can ask them. Are there any agenda modifications? Are there any agenda modifications? No. There are no public hearings scheduled. There's no unfinished business. You can ask if there's any public input. Is there any public input? Okay, that's, you're addressing the audience, and you'll see if anybody approaches the microphone. Okay, you're now at new business. Call on each person in order. A. Jerome Adams. Good afternoon. I'm Jerome Adams. I'm the vice mayor for the city of Sebastian. And I wanted to welcome you all to the, the very first meeting of the very first Sebastian Youth Advisory Council. I want to take this opportunity to thank the staff for all of their hard work in preparing for this council, for all their meetings now and going forward, and to thank the schools for their cooperation and suggestions and assistance in getting the council formed. I also want to thank the parents for all of their, their, uh, their help, their dedication to the city for bringing their, their children here to be a part of this uh, committee. And finally, I want to thank you students for your commitment to your community. As leaders in the community, I think we have an obligation to ensure that our youth are involved and trained in the ways of our government. They need to be prepared to take, act, to take the baton in the future and continue to build on the foundation that has been laid. Our city is not just for the adults, it's for everyone, and everyone's voice needs to be heard. You students, your voice will be our bridge to the youth of our community, and I look forward to the ideas that will come from this group. You'll be speaking for your generation as to how you want to see your city. You'll help to shape the future of Sebastian. Our staff is a great resource for you now and always. They would guide you in what you need to do to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. And remember, this is a governmental entity. You are governed by the Sunshine Laws. Please listen carefully when the city attorney speaks. Ask questions if you're not sure. But now I want to wish you all good luck, have fun, and learn a lot, and I'll be here every so often in contact with you and I look forward to great things from you. Thank you. City manager. 
Good afternoon. I'd uh, like to introduce myself. My name is Joe Griffin. I'm the city manager for the city of Sebastian. I'd like to welcome every one of you. I'd like to thank you for your volunteerism. And uh, I'd like to go over just a few of the things that, uh, that should be important to you. They're certainly important to me as, as we go forward with this committee. Uh, there was a resolution passed by the city council that established this committee. I'd like to go over just a few of the things that, uh, that are important that I think each of you should think about. First of all, the membership qualifications. You have to be a city resident and a actively enrolled in one of the public or private schools in Sebastian. There is a one-year term. You're appointed to a one-year term, okay? We want to make sure that this is a positive experience, so we would like you to be positive and friendly and law-abiding in a manner that's appropriate for the city council chambers. Also, if you look over on, on the wall, there is a plaque over there, and that's a civility plaque. So sometime, maybe not today, but sometime, read that plaque and see what it says about civility and it's something that we expect from everyone as they enter these chambers. Hi, Ryan, how are you? For the record, Ryan has arrived at 3.06, thank you. What about meetings and records? We'll hold one meeting per quarter, okay? One meeting per quarter, and those meetings will start at 3 p.m in the afternoon, okay? And you'll get proper notice of when the meetings are coming up, and then we'll have an agenda that you will receive, and you'll be able to see that beforehand. A quorum, what, does, what designates a quorum for this organization, for this committee? It's gonna be a majority of the membership here. The majority of the, of the members on the committee, that will be a quorum. That means you can conduct the meeting. You can actually conduct the meeting with with uh, less than a quorum, but you won't be able to take action. So we would like to make sure that there's a quorum when we do have a, a, a scheduled meeting that everyone makes a, a great effort, great and honest effort to be here on time, ready to go. Three ex unexcused absences will result in expulsion from the committee. So if something happens, you have a, a family outing, something that is scheduled that's going to be coming up and it's in conflict with this meeting, contact myself or the city clerk and ask for a excused absence, okay? Does everybody understand that? Let me go over some of the duties and responsibilities. First of all, number one, you are tasked with evaluating and review problems facing the city youth. We want you to facilitate neighborhood meetings with other youth. Find out what their problems, needs, and suggested improvements that they might have uh, suggestions for improvements to our community. And then bring them forward. Meet regularly with the city manager, the mayor, city council to share ideas. Attend city council meetings. As a matter of fact, we have a city council meeting tonight at six o'clock. So maybe attend some of those meetings, if not all, or if you have Comcast in your home, turn on channel 25, uh, review that meeting, watch it through, don't fall asleep, and uh, maybe watch a rerun on, over the weekend, that's when we, uh, when we uh, rerun the meetings, you'll be able to see city council meetings, see how they operate. You're to present recommended improvements to the city council. For the record, Marley Hook is arrived at 3.09. Hi Marley, we're going over some of the um, some of the duties and responsibilities of the committee, okay? You should have that in front of you. It's on page um, eight of 12, so page eight. Okay? And last, we want you to evaluate and advise the city council on issues forwarded 
to this committee for advice. So I'd like to underscore what Vice Mayor, Mayor Adams said and welcome everyone here. I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for your volunteerism. And you can now move to the next item on C, which is input from the city attorney. I'll turn it back to you, Skyler. City attorney. Thank you. My name is Bob Ginsburg. I'm the city attorney for Sebastian. Uh, some of what I was going to say has already been said. I'm going to be fairly brief today. You are now part of government. Government. Um, at the municipal level, the city level, you are part of the city of Sebastian. That's important in a number of ways because certain state laws apply to us and they apply to you too. It, Vice Mayor Adams in, talked about the Sunshine Law and he was right. Have you heard about the Sunshine Law? Open government law? Okay. Some of it is, there are some questions and answers at the back of your agenda. And I believe the clerk has also passed out some materials um, to you relating to it. But as an advisory board member, you are subject to the Sunshine Law. And basically what that means is, let me ask you this, do any of you know each other? Yes? Okay. Uh, do you talk to each other or text message each other or follow each other on Facebook or Twitter, things like that? Okay. The way the Sunshine Law works is the state assumes that all of your meetings and all of your work with regard to this uh, Youth Advisory Council will be done in public, not in private, but in public. That means here at a meeting of the board. You know, in the olden days, rules like this were easier to follow because we either talk to each other or we use the telephone. Now there are so many more ways to communicate with each other, as you know. And you probably know ways that I don't know. In fact, you do know ways that I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm here to tell you the law does not permit you to email each other, to talk to each other about issues that could come here. Don't communicate with each other in any one of the million ways that you can communicate with each other, and you do ordinarily with each other and other friends as well. But when it comes to members of the Youth Advisory Council, anything you want to say to each other, you say at one of these meetings. Not through an email or a text message or any other one of those, or telephone call. It's a hard lesson even for adults to follow uh, on the other advisory boards. Um, it's even harder for you because you grew up in an age of instant communication with each other all the time. But keep in mind that you are not supposed to do that outside of an actual meeting. If you want to communicate with somebody about anything relating to this Youth Advisory Council, please contact either the clerk or the city manager or me. And the clerk has told me that she has given you our email addresses, I believe. And if you can get our telephone numbers too, Sally? Yes. Okay. Okay. So you'll have the telephone numbers and the email addresses that you can use if you want to find out what's going on, say, or when's the next meeting, or whatever. Talk to us. Don't communicate with each other. And one of the consequences of not following it are kind of unfortunate, and that is that, say you come up with 
a project or an idea or something you would like to see the city do. That may be undercut if it comes out later that the suggestion was a result of a violation of the Sunshine Law, that you were talking with each other. So you want what it is that you are suggesting to the City Council to have value and to be seriously considered by them and not involve a distraction like the Sunshine Law, which can detract from um, the validity of what you're suggesting. That shouldn't be a factor in any of this. So it's not easy, but think about it. Contact us, not each other. Um, the public records law is another aspect of open government. Everything you get in terms of documentation of any kind, could be a tape, could be a CD, could be a letter, could be a note, could be who knows what. All of that, as it relates to the Youth Advisory Council's work, is a public record. So please don't dispose of it. Provide it to the city clerk after you've had a chance to read it. Okay? And I believe she's got some information concerning the public records law uh, on her on her information sheet as well. Specific to email, since that's the way most of us communicate today. You can just forward those to me. There's a sheet in front of you that you can read later on that'll explain how to do that. Okay, you can forward that on, those on to the city clerk. The city is required to keep those, all those letters, communications, cards, whatever form it comes in, information about the work of this council, the city is required to keep it, they're public records. Others have a right to view them. And that's why we have to keep them. And the city clerk does that for us. So that's all I'm gonna say about two very important aspects of a very important legal principle. It's in the Constitution of the state of Florida and in the Florida statutes. The open government laws, the sunshine law on the one hand, the public records law on the other. So if anybody has any questions about those things, please give me a call and I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to me. Selection of chair and vice chair. Okay, at this point, we call for nominations for chair. See if anybody ha would like to nominate one of you to be the chair person of this Youth Advisory Council. Does anybody want to nominate someone? Okay, you said you knew each other a little bit. <laughs> Now's the time. So somebody needs to be the chair. Who should it be? Does anyone want to be the chair? <laughs> Is anyone going to nominate Ryan? I nominate Ryan. Okay, do we have a second to that nomination? I nominate Ryan. Okay, we have a, we have a nomination and a second. Are there any other nominations for chair other than Ryan? Okay, under the rules that we follow, Ryan is now your chair. Now, Ryan's first duty is to call for nominations of a vice chair. And be, but before you do, thank you, Ms. Carstairs, for being our substitute chair to, and getting us to this point. You'll be good. Okay, do we have any nominations for a vice chair?
I nominate Anthony. Ryan, why don't you call to see if there's a second to that nomination? Second to that nomination? <laughs> you can second it if you want to. I will second that nomination. <laughs> All right. If there are no other nominations for vice chair, Anthony will be your vice chair. I nominate Skylar Carstairs. Okay. That made that nomination? Who was it? Oh, okay. He nominated Scott. Do we have a second for that nomination? I nominate Skyler. Okay, that we'll consider that a second. So we have two, Mr. Chairman, you have two uh, nominees for uh, vice chair. Now you need to ask for a vote. The clerk will call. Okay. Can we have a the vote? clerk? The clerk will help you. Here's what we do in this case. Now that we have two nominees, I'm going to call each person's name, and you're going to tell me the name of the person that you would like to be vice chair and the person who gets the majority of those votes will be your vice chair, okay? So we have two nominations, one for Anthony Scaramuzzi and one for Skylar Carstairs, okay? Taylor Eason? Um, Anthony. Ryan Rafels? Anthony. Anthony Scaramuzzi? You can vote for yourself. Anthony. Eddie Simchik. Anthony. Katie Toperzer. Anthony. Marley Hook. Uh, I guess Anthony. And Skylar Carstairs. Anthony. Okay, so he's your vice chair. Good. Okay, Ryan, next thing on the uh, new business agenda is you've selected the chair and vice chair. Now you have to determine your meeting schedule. Remember what I talked about in, um, in the resolution. We talked about when the meetings are conducted at least once a quarter, one time per quarter, and that they start at 3, 3 p.m., okay? So... You, you all can determine, you can determine, ask for recommendations about when uh, the next meeting will be held. Okay, do I have any recommendations? Every two weeks, I guess. So once a quarter, so we're gonna have this once a quarter, so you might think about three months from now, what would be a good date, all right? We normally we wanna have these on Wednesdays, isn't that correct, Madam Clerk? Before a council meeting? Before a council correct. meeting. Correct. Uh, I don't have the date of the council meeting. Our council meetings are on the second and fourth Wednesday of every month. Generally speaking, that's when they occur. Okay, so let's think, so this is, uh, this is May, June, July, August, August um, the first Wednesday, or the second, excuse me, second Wednesday in May, do you have a calendar? I don't, no? they have them in front of them. Okay, do you have a calendar in front of you by any chance, Ryan? Yes, they, you said the second Wednesday of August, correct? Yes. That would be the 12th. Okay, see if everybody likes that date, and that would be a good start. Is everyone good with that? Yes. 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 Okay, it looks like you have a consensus. So you can announce that the, the date for the next meeting will be August 12th at 50, uh, excuse me, at 3 p.m. All right. Our next meeting will be August 12th at 3 p.m. 
1,500 hours. <laughs> May I be recognized for a moment? On our new uh, committee procedures resolution that we just adopted, the city council just adopted new procedures for its boards and committees, we were to add an agenda item onto each board agenda, which would be to set the next agenda items. And that was not put on this agenda, and that was my fault. Um, it was already prepared before that was adopted. So do you want to do that, Mr. Attorney or Mr. Manager? I don't know if they're ready to think about what they want to talk about at their next agenda. Right. I don't think we're ready for that tonight. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. We could ask them. We could ask them. Do any of you have issues that you'd like the clerk to place on your August 12th agenda at this time? All right. If you do think of things that you'd like the council to consider, please contact the clerk. The clerk prepares the agendas for both the city council and all of the boards as well. So she's a very valuable resource to you. And she'll make it happen. Yes, I will. Okay, so Ryan, you've got that decided on, uh, Mr. Chairman, that you're going to be at uh, August 12th at 3 p.m. Now you can move down to the next portion on your agenda. All right, staff matters. No public input. Okay, so staff in this instance would be your city attorney, your city manager, and your city clerk. So you could start with the city attorney and ask him if he has an, anything to add. Okay. Nothing further to add. I have nothing further to add to what I've previously mentioned. Uh, my role here was to advise you specifically with regard to the Sunshine Laws, um, open government, public records, and um, I've done that. Um, I will, depending upon what your agenda, I will look at your agendas before your meeting and, and just make sure that if there are legal issues involved in them that I'm familiar with them, okay? Okay. Um. And you're going to go now go down the line to the city manager. And uh, the only thing I'd like to add is that, uh, once again, I do want to thank you for your volunteerism. This is volunteerism in its finest sense. You're serving your community. You're serving the city. So thank you very much. The only thing I'll give, I will give you a little homework. Review section 13 of that resolution that you should have in front of you, resolution number R15-11, talking about your duties and responsibilities, keeping in mind what the city attorney has talked to you about regarding the Sunshine Law and a public records law, okay? Uh, think about what you want to bring forward to the next meeting and um, a little suggestion. Uh, we try to get these agendas out a week ahead of time. So you're talking about the first week in August. Start, start thinking about what you might want on that agenda. Contact myself, contact the clerk and we'll get that going for you, okay? Once again, thank you very much. I appreciate you doing this. Okay, and Mrs. Clerk. Thank you. I, I just, again, I wanted to point out that I gave you information about how you can forward emails that you get uh, in relation to your business on the board to me so I can retain them in the public record. Um, if, you, if you send an email to someone outside of this board don't send emails to each other but if you send one regarding your business outside of here also forward that to me copy it to me if you will in your email um, and then I can retain those um, just to touch on what Mr. Griffin said if you can I will send you a reminder about a week and a half before the, the meeting in August to remind you that I will be looking for agenda items and then we close it typically the Wednesday before, well, I'm thinking of council meeting. By the Friday before is when we send your packet out to you by email. That's how we'll do it. Um, I asked you in the email or the, the 
the information I gave you to make sure that we have your best email address and a phone number if you'd like us to have it. And just the best way we can reach you. If you can contact us with that information, I would appreciate it. Okay? Thank you and good luck. Okay. Um, oh, Mr. Chairman, could I interrupt for just a second, please? We're doing, and you're going to move now to committee member matters, but uh, uh, there was a, a teacher who arrived a little bit late and would like to address the committee if, if the uh, city attorney doesn't uh, mind uh, as far as procedure goes. Do you mind if he uh, makes a short presentation? Uh, it's not up to me. It's now up to the chairman, if that's chair okay. chair can decide whether chair or not decide. to hear the person. Okay. Yes. Is that okay? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, given that I gave you the ride over here. Um, and I apologize that I got him here late. Uh, something that came to mind for all of you, uh, first and foremost, of course, congratulations, but the old government teacher and civics teacher in me reminds me that it wouldn't be a bad idea if you went to your respective school library and got a copy of Robert's Rules. It would be a good idea to, um, to read through them, and if you have any questions, I'm sure any of the teachers at your school would be more than happy to review them with you, but uh, it helps you with your organization and uh, the way you present yourself. So again, it's Robert's Rules of Orders, and uh, I'm sure you'll find a copy in your library. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Stetsky. <laughs> now, uh, Board or Committee Member Matters. Here's when you call on each of your fellow Youth Advisory Board members and see if they have something they'd like to say at the meeting. So start at one end and go down, everyone. You can, you can be last. Okay. I'm still trying to learn names here, <laughs> but um, I will start at the far end. No. <laughs> no, thank you. 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 Okay, and I do not have anything. Now is when you call for adjournment. Okay. Um, you could say something like, I'll, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. You ask for a motion to adjourn. And then if you get a second, and then everybody agrees, then you can adjourn the meeting. Okay. Motion to adjourn. And whoever is interested in making that motion simply says, so move. So move. So moved. So move. We'll take that as a second. We'll take that as a second and just call for a voice vote. How many would like to adjourn? Okay, voice vote. Those who want to adjourn say aye. 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 Very good. And if there are no opposing, Aye. if there are no opposing votes, you stand adjourned. Okay. In other words, the meeting is over. <laughs> there you go.